Oh, God damn it. Okay. Right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. I, The reason why I was just quiet there for that first few seconds was because I was hoping the animation, the intro animation would play for the uh, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, but it didn't seem as if it did, so that kind of sucks. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. That's fine. I'll keep them turned on. And I think in the second and third phase, we'll, we'll turn them on. I don't really think it's fair to then play Majin Vegeta's, right? Because we missed out on this unit's um, intro animation. But... We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. We're taking on Busog Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, I don't know when this video will come out. I think this will actually come out before my showcase for this unit. But I did want to take a look at this unit in Extreme Super Battle Road. I think as well as um, the God Event. Or I say the God Event, but maybe the Ultimate Red Zone. But again, we'll have to wait and see. I also have not really used Int Margin Vegeta. So we're going to use him as a friend. We are using a double 170 lead effectively with my own STR Vegeta and a friend Margin Vegeta. So... As for links, we have five active, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Legendary Power, Shattering the Limit, and then... What is that, Link? Is that... What is that? I don't... I don't actually know what it is. Um... Okay, so what is this, Link? Is that Shocking Speed? Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's Shocking Speed, yeah. So that's the, that's the last Link. Right, so... We'll have SDR Vegito attack you. In fact, I think we can get rid of Goku on this turn. Because, uh, again, we're going to get a full 24 key for the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. We're going to seal... I'm going to seal Margin Vegeta. I feel like there's a chance, if we get lucky with additionals and crits from the STR Vegito in slot 1, that we could finish off uh, Goku, which is why I'm having the Great Salmon 1 and 2 seal um, Margin Vegeta instead. Also, remember, with LR Great Salmon 1 and 2 on this turn, they are providing... An extra what? Is it like 4 key and 50% defensive support to all super class allies? Okay, that sucks. How much does this do? Like 150? 220? What the? Okay. That kind of sucks. Uh, I was kind of... I was expecting STR Vegito to tank better than that. Six... That's just say 6 mil. Okay, that's a pretty good attack start from the, the free-to-play unit. Yeah, not bad. Some really good damage as well on the crit. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, now that we're sealing Margin Vegeta. Uh, if, any if anything, actually, I think we should have sealed... Yeah, that was a mistake. We should have sealed the Goku because we have two int... Sorry, we have three int units on the next rotation. I... I'm a stupid head. Um, right. Orb's actually looking pretty good. Uh, I feel like it's... N it's Yeah, we have to take you out. Uh, otherwise, like another super attack from you would be death. So we'll just have everyone attack Goku here. See, I want those Intorbs for the healing, but I think it's more sensible to go for the 18 key. Uh, we can try and take out Goku that way. So 4.8 from Margin Vegeta. Again, he has his full damage reduction activate as well as his 88% attack buff. Because we are um, under 88% health and it looks like he crit. We're able to get rid of Goku. Okay, so now we're pretty much smooth sailing. Uh, we've only got one enemy to worry about. Tech Ultimate Gohan is also coming back on rotation. By the way, this guy, this int base form Vegeta is actually pretty good. Uh... Are we just going to finish this guy off now? I feel like if, this is death, right? To Majin Vegeta? Okay. So we'll move on. Wait, the intro's not going to play again. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can... Yeah, we'll do this. Alright, here we go. Now we'll uh, listen to the cool OST, as well as the intro animation for the LR Gohan... Gohan? Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we'll keep them in slot two. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> Gohan is super... Gohan's going to super attack, isn't he? Um, right, so we'll give... See, I want to save the tech orbs for the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks just for the healing. So you kind of have to sacrifice these orbs over here. We'll finish off or we'll aim to finish off Gotenks. Although I don't think that's quite possible unless we get really lucky with crits and additionals. You can have that. STR Vegeta can have the STR up. So defense on this rotation is about 308k. Pretty impressive. But of course, the reason why it is so high is, you know, we're also getting Cold Judgment active. This rotation from the Tech Ultimate Gohan, which is a huge 25% defensive link. But because Goku and Vegeta is also attacking in this turn or on this turn, they're also getting their full buffs active, right? So I'm talking about the two separate one key and 70% defensive buffs, as well as the two 
separate one key and 70% attack buffs. But of course, we're talking specifically about the defensive buffs here. Did they just not super attack at all? That's going to suck. Please, can you additional super? I feel like Ultimate Gohan's going to super us and the run is over. Okay, no. We got the dodge anyway, right? Clutch. All right, I really need an additional or crit from you. I, I, I'm telling you, so many times I've entered this stage in the past. Gotenks will just super attack. Okay, please can we crit Goku and Vegeta? Like, I do have a dupe in you. Come on, guys. I know you're better than that. Come on, Goku Vegeta. Okay, they crit. Thank God. Okay, that was actually a pretty cool intro and animation. Right, uh, okay, this kind of sucks again. I feel, as yeah, I feel we have to... Do we attack Piccolo? I feel like attacking Piccolo is useless though. Uh, we won't, we won't, yeah, we won't even be able to grab the full orbs. Okay, that sucks. Uh, I feel like this is just the best way, right? Or this. This may potentially open up those AGL path, AGL path of orbs. So we're gonna do this. Okay, I'm an idiot. It looks like it didn't. Uh, okay, this is gonna be very scary if Piccolo decides to super attack, but it is what it is. Um, we'll save those tech orbs. My right, defense is 195. I feel like as long as Majin Vegeta super attacks, we should be fine. Okay, 4.85 again. I would have preferred if the attack stat... It's not even the attack stat. Like, I feel like a lot of these modern day Dokkan Fest TURs nowadays... This is surely does like double digits, right? 90k. Okay, yeah, it definitely would have done double digits if we had grabbed the 6 up. But... Can I back on to my point? I feel like a, a lot of these modern day Dokkan Fest units are having abilities in terms of they have a chance to crit, the additional super attack, and all these other different, um, like, hidden potential abilities, right? Which Majin Vegeta does not. I feel like what they should have done was give him a flat 50% damage reduction, and then tied Trunks being on the team as an intro, uh, sorry, not as, sorry, tied the intro animation or the intro effect um, with Majin Vegeta being type effective. I think that would have been a lot, lot better. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep tech ultimate Gohan in slot one. Again, this kind of sucks, right? Because I'm going, or I'm leaving units to attack type disadvantage, but I've played this awfully so far, so uh, hopefully uh, we don't get tagged with an unnecessary super attack here, because I feel like we could no item this stage very easily. Kind of just depends where the luck is, or goes, or whatever else adjective you want to use. Alright, 5.1 from you, not bad. Can we get another crit, please? Or maybe an additional super would be nice. Yeah, again, I really like that spinning shot of... Ult uh, of not Ultimate Gohan, sorry. Of that Gohan there. Okay, thank you, Ultimate Gohan. We lived? We lived a super, okay. Could be worse. We could we could have... We could have... Yeah, we could have died there, but... Uh, we lived a super, which is nice. Wow, that Ultimate Gohan has so much health. Jesus, right. Can we get six orbs now? I feel like we have to transform with STR Vegito just for the healing. In fact, I am, but I am gonna turn this on again. I don't want to make I don't want to make this video too too long, right? All right, great. There's a super attack in slot one, and it's from you, marvelous. Um, Majin Vegeta is our best bet, right? Yeah, most definitely. You'll just completely, I think, cut the damage in half because of his 50% um, damage reduction. We'll do that, and then yeah, STR Vegito can attack whoever's left. But I think Majin Vegeta will probably kill Ultimate Gohan. How much does this do then? Like 50k? Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that would have done like about 50k if Majin Vegeta had the chance to super deck. And maybe that's like another, a small nitpick for this type of a unit. You know, Majin Vegeta primarily is a defensive unit. So like, could they have built him with a lot of starter turn defense and just completely taken out the 50% defense that he gets on super? I mean, the super deck effect they can keep, but I'm talking about the, you know, when you collect three orbs, Sorry, not collect three ups. When you attack or perform a super attack in general, you then get the uh, the fifty percent attack and defense. I feel as if they would have maybe slapped a start a turn two hundred and fifty percent defensive buff. That would have been a lot, lot better. But 
Again, I digress. He's still very, very good defensively. Okay, so about 281k defense, which again is pretty good for a free-to-play LR. We only have two links active, so I presume the attack stat will be like 4.8? 4.9 maybe? 3.8, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm stupid. Legendary power is not active, um, so that's also why their attack stat was low, but still pretty good damage nonetheless. Move on into the final fight. Who is this against? Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> great. It's against Vegito. Okay. This could suck, depending on where he supers. Oh, the animation! Alright, never mind. I, I don't really think it matters that we have to keep seeing the animation. We'll, we, yeah, we will give the 10 orbs to Vegeta there. You can have all of these for the healing. Perfect. And then into Vegito, yeah. This could be very scary. Uh, I remember this Super Vegito boss hitting very, very hard. I just realized as well, we're actually very close to the Dokkan mode. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't actually seen the active skill from Margin Vegeta. Can we even... Is that actually... I think we'll take six hits here. So as long as we don't finish him off in the next phase, we may finish this fight with a Margin Vegeta uh, final explosion, which is which will be pretty good, right? Yeah, this is doing nothing, right? Full 50% damage reduction. Uh, double super. Yeah, double digits. Thank you, Vegito. May I have another, please? I, I think even actually with one super attack into Margin Vegeta probably would have been close to double digit, so the double super was just pretty much the icing on top of the cake. Into Vegeta. I'm actually not sure how this unit performed. They were sitting at, what, 200k defense, so should be about 230, I think, post super attack, but they are taking double digits, which is nice. Sorry, my correction, 200 multiplied by 1.3 is actually 260. Okay, so I feel like this is the play, right? Yeah, that's the play, I think. Um, so we will do this. We'll do this. Again, I'm, I am actually scared of STR Vegeta there because unfortunately we weren't able to grab the Doka mode or we weren't able even to seal uh, this Super Vegito boss. So if they get super attacked right at the end, uh, the run is pretty much over. Okay, pretty good damage from Gohan with a double super now. Man, I can't believe that Gohan is like he's his link set is still I think pretty middling, right? If it wasn't for the fact that literally every buff seems to be a hybrid same buff or every unit coming out now seems to have the same lineage link, I feel like we wouldn't see him as favorably. But like he's still so impressive defensively in slot one. He's still the de facto like best slot one unit. 81k, that's actually not bad. Again, this Super Vegito still hits very, very hard. And uh, another thing to point out is if we had grabbed the 12 key super attack, again, it's quite impossible when Goku and Vegeta are on the team. Uh, the the Goten, uh, sorry, the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks unit, they would have been at like 390k. Okay, it looks like we won't finish off this fight with the final explosion active, but um, we'll definitely get to see it now. Oh, that looks so freaking good. Okay, and that's pretty much a wrap, right? Uh, even though we lost that much health, like Super Vegito is stunned for the turn. So, uh, yeah, we are grabbing the Doka mode as well. So this is a GG. This is a wrap. So thank you guys for watching. Um, wow, 292k. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember, guys, when uh, Majin Vegeta performs his final explosion, Dokkan does uh, count that as an attack. So he gets that 50% defense buff that he would have received uh, at the start of turn rather than attacking on his active skill turn only. Remember, he's also guaranteed to crit for this entire turn. Wow, Majin Vegeta, he's really freaking good. I mean... Again, he does have his flaws, he does definitely has have his issues, but if you can look past those, he's definitely one of the best uh, defensive units in, in most recent times, right? I feel like only Tech Ultimate Gohan could come close to his level of tanking uh, if we are pitting up these Dark Compress TURs in the Ultimate Red Zone. I mean, maybe Age or Captain Ginyu is up there as well, but like Age or Captain Ginyu is a really weird unit to rate. I feel like on the, the Ginyu Force team, he's probably like the best Dokkan Fest TUR in the game, but 
when you take him away from the Guinea Force team, like he's very like I wouldn't even call him top ten. I, like, okay, it's, uh, maybe not top ten, but I'd struggle to put him in that top ten spot, right? Because he just really is reliant on the Guinea Force uh, units around him, right? He's reliant on their support. He's also reliant on the fact that his link set outside of a Guinea Force team sucks. I I still don't understand why they didn't give him big bad bosses or shocking speed or fear and faith, but I digress. It is what it is. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think Marge of Judah is very, very impressive. But more importantly, I think this unit more than pulled its weight. And I think I said this in my initial showcase video as well. In terms of their stats, offensively and defensively, they definitely put up some good stats. I just wish they had some form of utility, whether that's maybe some sort of support buffing, active skill, rainbow orb changing, uh, super class support. Stunning, sealing, dodging, just something to, to make them useful, right? Because their biggest, I think, downfall or letdown is this. They're only on three teams, right? Boo Saga, um, Joint Forces, and then Hybrid Saiyans. So I don't know how much value you'll get from this unit going forward. Like, I, I could easily see a year down the line, them not re picking up any other categories. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.